is Sophia Camacho. I am a therapist with Pivot Physical Therapy, and I've been working in the outpatient clinics for about five years, and I'm working with Morgan today to go over some squatting techniques for lifting. Hey everyone, it's Morgan with Raising the Bar Performance, and I'm here with Sophia from Pivot, and we are gonna be talking about squatting techniques, differences in um, various squat or sorry, squat variations, and what you should be looking for as a lifter to make sure your technique is um, up to par. So, stay tuned. So Morgan, I guess the first question one would ask is what's the big difference between a low bar lift and a high bar lift? So the difference between a low bar squat and a high bar squat is gonna start with the bar position. So the bar position for a high bar squat is gonna be up right here on this uh, squat shelf or up on your traps where I call it, whereas a low bar squat is gonna sit slightly lower um, just above the bottom of the delt. Um, somewhere in there, it's gonna be different for each lifter. Uh, the other difference is gonna be um, where the moment arm is. So a high bar squat is gonna be more vertical, putting more work on your quads and knees, whereas a low bar squat is going to be slightly more forward, not a collapsed chest, but a forward position. And it's going to um, put more uh, stress on the hips versus the quads. The other uh, big difference is gonna be the mobility in the shoulders. So for a high bar squat, not much is required from the chest and the um, looseness of the pecs to get into position, but for the low bar squat, it's gonna create a lot more um, stretch in the upper shoulder, upper chest area to bring the, the hands back. Um, and then the other thing is gonna be elbow position. So for your high bar squat, your elbows are gonna be more under the bar so they stay in line with the wrist, whereas in a low bar squat, they're gonna be, you're gonna be thinking about pulling your elbows together creating tension in your back, and then pulling them down to uh, create tension against the bar. So when you go to do these squats, do you just jump right in or do you do some sort of warm up? And if you do a warm up, how many sets are you performing? So typically, um, warm ups are gonna be a little bit different for each lifter. Um, but that being said, I always recommend doing some sets with the bar because you can assess how you're feeling. So this might be um, two or one to two sets of five to 10 reps just to get an idea of how everything's working that day. And that'll determine what your um, warm ups may consist of. What sort of things are you looking for or assessing when you're doing those warm ups? So during your warm-up sets, you're going to be assessing from um, top to bottom. So you want to assess your chest tightness, um, how much range of motion you have in your shoulders, specifically uh, based on what type of squat variation that you're using. Um, then you're going to be assessing core activation. Is everything working? Are you able to brace um, correctly? Uh, is your posture um, in the correct position? So are you falling forward, um, having some chest collapse? Or are you able to create that tension in your upper back against the bar? Um, hip tightness, big one. So how do you feel when you're going down into the hole? Are your hips tight? Is it your hip flexors? Um, is it more in your lower back? What's, um, what needs to be loosened up? essentially. Um, and then glute, glute activation, do you have knee collapse going on? Are you able to keep your knees out? Are you feeling um, that tension in your glutes as you go down into the squat and then back up? Um, and then the last one's gonna be your ankle mobility. So looking at um, your ability to uh, uh, apply foot pressure. So can you keep tension in both the big toe, your pinky toe and your heel? Or do you feel that your feet are leaning one side or the other, or even more forward, causing that forward lean um, in your squat? Once you have that information, that's gonna kind of take you into your actual warm ups or your corrective movements that you do prior to loading the bar. Awesome, I think we've got a great idea of the basics. I think it would be really great if we kind of delved in a little bit deeper in the future and like what sort of things we can do to perfect um, the movement itself and maybe focus on each body part. So I think next time we're gonna look closely at the upper extremity, yes? Yep, that's exactly right. I think the biggest thing for lifters to understand or somebody getting into lifting is that these big movements are total body. So if you have um, chest tightness, 
that's going to affect your squat performance. Although you might not think of it as an upper body movement, you have to be mobile in areas and you have to have muscles activated in areas that you wouldn't think of um, to perform your squat um, efficiently and technically sound. So we will be diving into um, the shoulders, wrists, and elbows and what a lifter needs to pay attention to in our next video. Stay tuned, guys. Thank you.